I've had the question, why would anyone do anything for free, said at me several times. And do those people never do anything for their family? Do they see their spouse as just like this logically beneficial thing that they allowed in their fucking presence and then allowed these little tiny offspring to exist so long as they're within, you know, parameters of usefulness. That's how you view your family. You never do anything free for them. You're always thinking of how they're going to be repaying you later. You're never just thinking of them ever. Like, for instance, okay, say every architect went on strike. You wouldn't, like, start using YouTube to sort of learn how to build shit so that you can can provide shelter for your family. Uh, whatever your family's interests are, if your wife likes to paint, would you never get her... The, you, would, you would never use YouTube to, like, figure out what you needed to help her gain those pigments and make paper and stuff if she was really struggling to do that. If your husband is like having a really fucking hard time, you don't do the labor of like helping him in, in not to say that like you should be your husband's therapist, but like in the moment that you don't have a therapy session, if, you're, if your husband's freaking out, like you don't help them Unless there's something in it for you, you just do it because you need a peace of mind right now, not because you care about that person who's having a problem. If your kid's disabled, you're going to just disown them. You're not going to figure out and research their disability to help them. Like, if, they, if, they, if their legs don't work for whatever reason, you're not going to, like, start researching how, like, what the good wheelchairs are and stuff and all that. And on the, moment, on the topic of research, like... You think, oh, well, where am I going to look that up if no one's paid to do it? People upload shit to YouTube all the time for free. People edit Wikipedia for free. I, if nothing else, take notes myself in my own journal for things that I'm studying to help my family. And when I'm dead and gone, that journal's probably still going to exist as long as I don't burn it. So... There I go, I did something for free via selfishness and it will benefit others. I made a notebook and as long as I'm not so selfish that on my deathbed I want all of my notes burned, I have put knowledge into the world for free. There's so many notebooks from people that we could look through. Like that's basically what Charles Darwin and like so many philosophers are. It's not necessarily that they were publishing for capital. This was a thing that interested them and they were going to write these notes regardless. And you just, <laughs> there are so many diaries that are like, books now that those things were private but when they were discovered after that person's death someone was able to profit off of it it's not that that thing was done for profit it was done for free and then profit found it i just never have understood the question why would anyone do anything for free how could you sit and do nothing? You're gonna just lay on the ground and die? That's what you're gonna do if like literally no one's obligated to do anything? If everyone just suddenly didn't have to have jobs to get by and didn't have to do labor just for a right to live, you would just lay down and die as like a tantrum? You wouldn't start trying to figure out like what you were supposed to do to help your family survive and friends? I just don't get it. I don't understand the question.